We have arrived at Castaway Key. It's so gorgeous today. I feel like the weather is perfect. Yeah. And we're so excited to head out there. I think we're finally gonna go snorkeling today. Yeah. Um, and I can't wait to get out there. The sun is just hitting it so perfectly, so all the blues and greens are just really popping. Yeah. But before we go to Castaway, we are on a mission to find a churro waffle. So we're gonna go to Cabana's for breakfast and hopefully get that churro waffle. It didn't work out the last time, so my hopes are not high, but <laughs> I really want one, okay? I feel like we're cursing it even by just by saying, saying, it saying the words, but let's go. Okay. Oh my God, they have it. Oh my God. Mickey churro waffle. Hey, Carrie. Look what I found. Shut up. <laughs> They're here? Yeah. I'm so excited. So just throw that plate away. I really should. They smell so good. Look at this. Oh my god, I can't oh believe god. They're here. I know. <laughs> you don't need that food anymore. I do though, but oh my god. That's not enough. I need like 12. Okay, we found a secret seating area. So down there is cabanas and if you come up the stairs, it's like the outside section of cabanas over there, you come up these stairs. And there's all these tables out here. And, and nobody's here. Nobody's out here and it was madness down there. Yes, so this feels very nice and quiet and secluded. Yeah. And back there is Castaway, it's awesome. Okay, Cabana's has the best buffet. The best breakfast. I liked the buffet yesterday for lunch though too. Yeah. Like I, there was so much that I wanted and like there was even so much down there that I still didn't yeah. get. What'd you get? So I got the blueberry muffin, of course, the churro waffle. Yes. I got eggs benedict, bacon, potatoes. This is a turkey and ham croissant and wow. then eggs. Wow. I just got the churro waffles. It smells. I can't believe they have the churro Mickey waffles. This is. You know what's in this is everything. There were people behind me and it was like a bunch of kids and their dad. And the kids were upset that there wasn't the regular Mickey what? waffle. And I was like, do you guys know how lucky you are yeah. to have this churro waffle? Yeah. Like, are you crazy? But I saw regular waffles there too. How is it? It's really good. It's really good. But so they had the regular Mickey waffles like further up in the, um, the buffet, but then in the back is where all the good stuff was, of course, and that's where the churro waffles were. Will this be a Hall of Fame entry? I don't know. Let's see. This literally tastes like a churro. It's so good. I'm eating churros for breakfast. And I'm happy about it. Should this be in the Hall of Fame? I think it should. I kind of think it should. Because how could you come on a Disney cruise and if they have this and you, you have to get exactly. this? Exactly. And like for what it is, like buffet food, it is, it is top tier. Honestly, this has this was really um, hyped up in my head. Yeah, of course. Because everybody talks about it. Yeah. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Beautiful. It really gorgeous. is. It really is like a mix between a waffle and a churro. Because that's what it is. Because that's what it's called. But it's, it's actually, I thought it would be like a waffle with like a, a hint of churro. Mm. This is actually like 70% churro and 30% waffle. I would I kind say. of agree with that. It's mostly churro, yeah. which makes it amazing. Of course. So I, I think it is in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame entry added now. Yeah. <laughs> I just finished my first one. It's amazing. It is so, so good. Yeah. It's definitely Hall of Fame. I love it. It's my... Ugh. We need to make this them at the, home. This is the best thing for breakfast. I And I'm, I'm taking a photo because this, this is being added to the Hall of Fame and um, all the photos are horrible on that website, but... That's okay. Yeah. It's not a photography contest. No. <laughs> it's the food that matters. Yes. It's the taste that matters. Yes. Okay, we got off the ship and we can see Goofy as the stern character and um, his boxers are showing, which is kind of inappropriate. Scandalous. Yeah, but I have a fun fact. You see underneath the stern character, how the ship kind of juts out. Yeah. And comes towards us. It's like a point. Well, not that, but like underneath, like underneath the rope area, do you see? Oh, okay, yeah. And how it, instead of like the ship like curving down. Yes. It, it is almost like an awkward angle. Yeah. Do you know what that is? No. So that little part wasn't always on the ship. So 10 years ago, when this ship was 15 years old, they added that thing, and it's called a ducktail. 
And it's not a joke, that's what it's actually called. Like, it's not even, like, Disney? It's not related to Donald Duck. What? They call it a ducktail, and they added that chunk of the ship onto the ship when it was 15 years old. It makes the ship more stable, so it doesn't move as much, and it reduces drag, which makes the ship more efficient. So, that's your fun fact. And you can kind of, if you look at it from the side, you can kind of tell that that, like, wasn't always there. And it is like an awkward shape and it's kind of ugly, but <laughs> it makes it more efficient and makes it move less, so it's good. I think it's beautiful. I think it's funny they call it a ducktail. Yeah, yeah, it works perfectly for Disney. Yeah. Ducktails! So even though the Magic is 25 years old, which is really old for its ship, it doesn't really feel like that. Like we were just talking about how when we're walking around that ship, Disney has done a really good job of keeping it fresh and it looks it doesn't look old. Like, no, like when we were on the summit, it felt like a small ship. Yeah, and this, the magic is smaller than the summit. And it doesn't really feel like it. It doesn't feel as old there, and as small. There's a lot of venues. There's a lot of like dining things up on the top deck. Yeah. And it just feels, feels good. And in terms of cruise ships, 25 is very, very old. Um, obviously this is Disney's first ship. We have nothing really to base it off of, and Disney doesn't have a really large fleet compared to other cruise lines. But if you compare it to Royal Caribbean, which is probably the most comparable cruise line, um, Royal Caribbean starts to retire their ships at around 25 years old. That's what they've done in the past. Sovereign and Legend of the Seas on uh, Royal Caribbean, they were retired after 22 years wow. in Royal. And Majesty of the Seas was retired at 28 years old. Wow. So, if you're looking at Royal, you gotta think, like this Disney. might be retired soon. Yeah, I wonder if that's why they're building the Wish and the Treasure. It's just, yeah, it's I, more, it's not to thinking. expand the fleet, it's to Is replace. It, yeah, I was thinking that too. Is the Wish and Treasure a replacement for the Magic and Wonder? I think no, but at the same time, like, I don't know if I really understand about like no. retiring because the ship looks beautiful, but maybe like some of the mechanics behind it aren't exactly. functioning, you know? To the guest facing areas, it looks great, but like, what is the, like uh, the What's internal the engine system? Yeah, what do the, like? the engines look like? What does the plumbing system look like? Or all these things are so old. Right. And the technology in cruising has, you know, rapidly developed in the past 25 years, so. We just don't know. Yeah. But I'm glad we sailed on it before they potentially retire it. Yeah. Now, if Majesty retired at 28, does that mean next year I get to retire from work? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. And by the way, when Royal Caribbean retire ships, sometimes they scrap them for the metal and sometimes they sell them to other smaller cruise lines. So, so they do keep running sometimes. Sometimes they do. And yeah, Disney's a small cruise line compared to Royal, so. I think they'll keep it for another 10 years. I would, yeah, I think it's probably good until 30 years old, maybe. That's I don't know. ancient, aren't, isn't it? <laughs> God, I don't know, but we're on our way to go do snorkeling now. Oh, this is so wrong. They key all day. They key all day. That doesn't make any sense. They just don't know how it's pronounced. Okay, we made our way to the snorkel area. So this is a snorkel beach. And then this is where you rent your snorkel gear, which we did it on the app. Yeah, we thought we had booked in advance, but we didn't. So yesterday in the app, we were able to book it. Yeah, I'm excited to go in that cold water because it's hot. It's very hot. I'm sweating already. Okay, we made it to the snorkeling lagoon. We have our stuff. Oh my God, there's stingrays in here. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so there's hidden things that we have to snorkel for. There's hidden objects. Which is why Brian has never let me watch any other because, person's video. Because it's, it's spoilers. It's spoilers. So we have to discover on our own the hidden objects in the lagoon. So if you also want to be spoiler free, now is the time no, to fast forward. No, don't. Watch it all. I think you were smart by not putting your fins on It's yet. always better to put your fins on in the water. The water is yeah, usually the water in the Bahamas is really cold, at least compared to what I'm used to in the Gulf of Mexico and Florida. Yeah. But it's actually not that bad right now. Quite warm. Okay, so we're gonna go way down there, like all the way, almost all the way to the rocks to search for our objects. This is gonna be a, might be, ti it might be tiring. Well, 
luckily we're, we're going to eat lunch afterwards, so we'll yeah. gain all that energy back. Do you see the stingray? Oh, good! That's crazy! Hey. Yeah. Oh. I figured it out. It's, the, it's a door from Monster Zinc. Oh my god! It, I get it, I get it, I get it! It's the Monster Zinc door. Let's do. Yeah. There's these little buoys here, and they mark where certain um, hidden objects are. So we swam over to one of these buoys, and underneath here is the door. So we're gonna try to go around to each buoy and see if we can find all the objects. That's cool that they put the buoys there. Yeah. Otherwise, we could be swimming around forever. A Dumbo ride vehicle. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, we finished our swim. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really cool. The uh, temperature was amazing. Oh, it really was. I think we got really lucky with the water temperature. Yeah. I feel like normally it's much colder. And then because Disney puts all these like cool things. it's It makes it so much fun. And honestly, like we've seen better fish in Cozumel. Right. But I don't care because that's more fun. Like that snorkeling we just had is more fun than You come Cozumel. up and it's like, oh my God, that's Prince Eric. Oh yeah. my God, it's Mickey Mouse. Okay, so a lifeguard told us that there's seven main objects to find. There's also other objects in the water too, like there's like anchors and like there was like a cannon. It's almost like stuff to attract fish. Yeah, it's like fish habitats almost, yeah. but there's seven main characters. He told, uh, one of the lifeguards told us that we found them all. It was Mickey and Minnie, then Prince Eric, which was pretty cool. We saw Donald. There was actually Daisy. It was? Yeah. Oh. It was like Daisy on like the bow of a ship. And then... You know how like normally there's like either like a mermaid or like a lady on the bow of a ship? It was Daisy. Um, we saw Boo's door. Oh my god, that one was so cool. That was cool. A, a lot of these things I've actually never seen before. I've seen Mickey before, but I've never actually seen any of these other ones. There was a big ship. What was that? I don't know. There was just like a sunken ship. And then there was the Nautilus. What's that? That's the like submarine. Oh, okay. That's what I meant when I said big ship. Oh, and then there was another smaller ship. Though. Yeah. And the coolest thing, Dumbo. Oh, like a ride vehicle of Dumbo, that not just it. Dumbo. I can't believe they put a Dumbo ride vehicle. That, that's the coolest thing. That is really cool. Uh, but we found all seven objects. And it was a good workout, you know? Yeah. It wasn't too hard. Like I think there was one, maybe was it at, perfect day where we were snorkeling and I was like we're gonna die out here oh, it's yeah. so rough yeah we had good conditions today it was the good amount of like we had to exercise a little but not like too yeah. much but now we're gonna head to wandering Okins and get a frozen drink but this is the back of the wandering Okins. I never noticed this before ice cold ice and it's kind of funny there are carrots oh for Sven and Arendelle berries oh I just think it's so funny ice cold ice <laughs> it's not really that funny I think it is but I like it so what oh, are we gonna what get? I, want. I wanted um, this, the Arendelle Winter. That's what I want to get. It's the the top hat for Olaf and this oh and this stupid gosh. bird from that song. That's, That's funny. Cool. So I got the Arendelle Winter, which is basically a cappuccino blended with caramel and coconut cream. What did you get? I got the Ice Palace, which I believe is banana, mango, pineapple, and maybe like coconut How water. Was it? It's a little watery. I wish hmm. it was like slightly more like thick, like smoothie-like. Yeah. But it's very good. Mine, mine is really good. But we're actually gonna head back to the ship now for lunch. Because um, we learned the last time that it's a secret. Yeah. That they, they keep all the good food on the ship. They, they, they have been begging us all morning, eat lunch on the island, have the barbecue. But no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna have the better lunch. At Cabanas. Because we know better and now you do too. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna have lunch at Cabanas, probably have a better food selection, and then hang out in the Quiet Cove adult area. I'm excited for that. Yeah, that I sounds wanna, really nice. One of my goals for the day was to find a lounge chair and lay on it for a significant amount of time. <laughs> that's a good and goal so to have. That's, that still is up, upcoming in our day. Is this chicken tenders? I don't think I can have any more chicken tenders though. <laughs> Oh, but this time it's nuggets. Oh, totally different. Okay, let's see what Cabanas has for lunch today. Let's see if we made the right call. Yeah. 
So do you think we made the right choice? I hate to say it, <laughs> but I kind of do think we made the wrong choice. The wrong choice or the right choice? The wrong choice. Do you think we should have had lunch on the island? Yes. Okay, yeah. well, what'd you get? Okay, I got some pasta. Yeah. Sirloin. I think they said this is barbecue brisket. It is, yeah. Which it, that's that's the biggest, like, what if that's really good? Yeah. Then I got, like, corn salsa. Yeah. Cornbread and a lemon dessert thing. Wow. I also got the barbecue beef brisket and cornbread. This is a stuffed tomato, oh. corn salsa, and two different types of focaccia. Disney Cruise Line loves focaccia, apparently. And so do I. Yeah, me too. And a chocolate brownie. I think we made the right choice. Oh, well, good. And also, we can get some food. We can get supplements at Duck and Diner. Duck and Diner. And Daisies, whatever. Yeah. Pinocchio. We still haven't tried Pinocchio's Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is like part one of lunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we found our spot to sit right underneath the radom in the shade. And there's a nice breeze. It took us yeah. a while to find where the nice breeze and the nice shade was, this, but we got our spot. This is the perfect spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dunk myself in the adult pool and then come up these stairs and then lay down for who knows how long. A nap time. Yeah. Okay, here comes Brian. He's getting ready to go for his dunk. He's chickened out of jumping in, but he dunked himself. Good job, Brian. So we've been laying here. It's been amazing. I did fall asleep. Yeah. Did you fall asleep? I think so. I was very comfortable. There's like that that moment of zen or whatever where it's like you're falling asleep but you're not, but you are. We call that dozy land in oh. my household. Oh really? We were in dozy land. Take me to dozy land. Yeah. Instead of Disneyland. Yeah. But look at this. This is, Look how amazing this is. And it feels so good. We're in the shade and there's a breeze. And it's just so nice. And we have a radome protecting us in case there's a drizzle. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, there are some clouds, but yeah. I think the clouds are really but just providing like sun protection, which is lovely. In the shade here and in the breeze, it's really nice. Oh, it's so perfect. This is what but cruising's all about. We're gonna go to the Cove um, Cafe. Yeah. And get some drinks to bring, to bring back to our spot here. Or maybe some snackies, because then there Ooh. don't they have snackies? I think they do, so let's check it out. Yeah. Quiet Cove is great because it really is actually quiet and there's no music. And, but there, and I, there is music, but it's like calming. Oh it yes. makes you feel so relaxed. But I don't like, maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but I don't like music on the pool deck. I don't like like big band, drum, electric guitar. I don't like all that. I like calm. So right next to the Quiet Cove pool is Cove Cafe. So let's see what they have in here. So I guess Cove Cafe would be adults only too, if it's in this section. Yeah. I wonder if they'll have pumpkin spice. Oh my God, they probably won't. No, they Those cowards. Kidding, yeah. Oh yeah, it is 18 and older. It says it right here. That's pretty. Could I have a chocolate chip muffin? Ooh, I'll do that too. We'll make them too, yeah. <laughs> and then maybe a cinnamon scroll. Look how cool it looks in here. Like, look at the like chest over there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I want to get a drink. Do you? I don't know. It looks like these are like almost like seasonal things. Like they have a mint mocha for Christmas, and there's like a little pumpkin frosty. Hi, what is that? Or, that? or I guess Ovaloff over there. They have a pumpkin pie. And a gingerbread, but do you see the gingerbread? So is this, we were joking about PSL, but they kind of have it. Uh, oh my God. Wow, look at this contraption. This looks like something from Harry Potter. It really does. Like the, the Moaning Mur Myrtle bathroom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It looks really cool in there. It's pretty and calming. Um, I got something custom made. We're I got... calling it the Brian. <laughs> it's basically, a peppermint mocha frappuccino. Because they have a mocha frapp. They call it a frapp instead of frappuccino because frappuccino is a trademark name by Starbucks. I didn't know that. Yeah, so they call it, um, they have a mocha frapp, but um, I asked him to add the peppermint syrup to it. So now this is a peppermint mocha. And I just got a bottle of tea. What is this thing? I've never actually like tried this before, but it's the Republic of Tea pomegranate green tea. Now, normally I'm a black tea girl, but we'll see how this is because I like fruity tea. I feel like 
Cove Cafe always has the best service too. Like the, oh the baristas God. in Cove Cafe, no matter what ship you're on, yeah. they're always the nicest people. Yeah. Let's talk about what we got. Yeah, we got snackies. We got two chocolate chip muffins. A cinnamon scroll. Don't call it a cinnamon <laughs> roll. It's a cinnamon scroll. And then they had an orange chocolate cupcake, which sounds crazy. And it almost looks like for Halloween, maybe? Maybe. They had all those really specials in there. We're so happy. I know. I mean, look at this. The water looks more blue today on Castaway. I don't know if, that, if I'm crazy. How is it? This tastes like a chocolate chip cookie that is just so moist and special that it's like turned into a muffin. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad I have one. Here, don't forget your themed 25th anniversary napkin. Oh, thank you. I was like, I got stuff all over my hands. Carrie found a duck. I found a super well hidden duck. Like it was so hard to find it because- It's, yeah, this, this I mean, yeah, what a hiding spot. Hey, I feel like we've seen this tag before because it has like the duck in the logo. I know, yeah, it. there's there's ducks everywhere on the ship and then like the little icon. Do you think it's the same person or this is just like a format that people find and print I don't out? Oh, but wait, but look at the, the duck has a Mickey hat on. It's, I think this is 3D printed. This is not Let me feel a it. squeezable duck. Oh my God, this is a 3D printed duck. You can tell because the lines this on it. This might be a keeper. This is literally 3D printed, you can tell. It's from Oak Ridge, New Jersey. It's from Adam. And we should do hashtag is... blue magic duck. The fact that they they put a, that they put Mickey ears on it. Like that's cool. This is 3D printed. Do we keep it? I don't know. Let's just rehide it in a better spot. Okay, here. But I hope that shows up on the camera. You can see the tiny little lines. Brian didn't believe me when I said that it was 3D printed because he thinks I'm too stupid to know if it... No, what? That's what you said. No, it's not. You said out loud for the camera to hear. Oh my God, I did not say that. Okay, nobody's in line. Time for Carrie to go on the aqua dunk. No, Ryan and I made a deal because I don't want to do the drop slide. So Why? I'm going to go do the, the yellow slide and he's going to do the drop slide. Okay. Okay. But I don't think anybody's in line right now. Well, it's time for you to do it. Look how steep that is though. That's what's scary. And I don't like the droppy feeling. This right here is a carry slide. For a kid slide, it actually is pretty tall. Like that's a good slide. It says it's a 30 minute wait. Do you think that's accurate? Okay, there's no maximum. So it looks like you probably can go on it. It does, does it say there's no maximum? Well, it just says minimum only. Okay. Okay, I'll watch you from over there. Okay. There she is in line with all of the kids. It's not 30 minutes, by the way. That's probably only like five minutes. Okay, how was the slide? It was fun. It was actually like a fast slide. Like I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy the fact that it's like, I, it's a kid's slide, so there's a bunch of kids. <laughs> I literally was waiting right over there. You should have. And I didn't see you because you were laying down. I, I didn't see to you. I you a signal while I was up there that's like, I'm Really? Yeah. I couldn't tell when you were up. There's the door that we saw um, snorkeling in Castaway today. There it is. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, Brian's all the way at the top of the slide and he is the next in line. He's getting in now. It's super scary. <laughs> I lived. You did. That thing is intense. Yeah, I heard you scream. <laughs> I kind of screamed to scare the little kids. Oh, that's there fun. There were a couple of kids that were went up and they got into the capsule and they chickened out and they left. I would have done that too. That's an intense ride for Disney. I'm actually surprised they have this on their ship because that is an intense water slide. The, I, can't, I can't do the drop you have to sit, you, have, you have to go into the chamber. The door the, closes they, on they you. They close the door and then the floor drops out from under you. And you go really fast because of that. You go so fast. It's actually really scary. And this part that's like clear. It's clear and it goes off the ship. You can't see anything. Oh, okay. 
So the fact that it goes over the ship is more for like show a, for like show for people not on the slide because when you're on that slide you can't see anything. Yeah, because I behind you I've seen some shadows go by, which like, is kind of cool. Look how fast you're going. Yeah, and also it's not clear enough to see out there. Anyway. It's a little like foggy or whatever. Yeah. Um, Did you like it? It's it's scary, but it's cool. Okay. It's fun. Yeah. I'm surprised they have it on board, but I, I like it. That's yeah. good. And you know what? While you were in line, I really enjoyed watching Monsters, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> so we moved over from starboard side to port side. Port side. Kind of the same spot. Side. This is still a shady area for the radome. But so. the sun was moving, so yeah. we had to move with it. Yeah, the sun moved, so we had to switch spots. And they started playing the Pirate Night music. So I guess it's officially Pirate Night now, now that they started playing the song. It went from like 80s hair bands to weird pirate music that no one's ever heard before. We've been out here since lunchtime, basically. It's been nice. Yeah, but we're gonna stay out here until, because we're about to sail away in 30 minutes. So we're gonna stay out here until we sail away and we can hear the horns and watch us sail away. And then after we hear the horns, then that will be our signal to go shower and get ready for dinner and stuff like that. There's no show tonight. I'm kind of actually glad that we don't have a show tonight. It allows us to do more of this. Yeah, because if we had a show tonight, we'd have to We'd have to go shower now. And get ready now because the show would be at six. So but yeah, I'm glad we can just do this. So we were just talking about how, you know, this is the smallest ship we've been on, the oldest ship we've been on. Being on this ship, it does not feel small. Like it I doesn't. don't. Like I'm not on here being like, oh my god, it's so small. No. It's it's not really that small. I think when we first boarded, I had a little bit of like shock factor because the atrium was smaller than what we've seen. And like when we first came up to the pool deck, I was like, wow, this is so much narrower. And then I was like a little bit worried. But now that I've been on board, it doesn't feel small at all. I mean, it is. I mean, compared to Oasis, it, obviously it's smaller, but. I think what it is is like the ratio of rooms to available public space yeah. is really good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, red alert, red alert. They just um, let the lines up. No! You can see those crew members on that bridge. Oh, wow, look at that cool, like, zip line thing yeah. that they have. Yeah, if you didn't know, the ropes are actually called lines. That's what they call them. They just let them go, so it seems like we're gonna be sailing away any second now. And hopefully we hear the horn. Sail a wave. Yeah, what song do you think it will be? A dream is a wish your heart makes. Or maybe they'll do like a pirate one. Like the yo-ho, yo-ho. Yeah, maybe. At the end of this announcement, we will be sounding our ship's whistle. Yay! We will our guests on the open decks to cover your ears. Yeah, right. I need to feel the full force of this puppy. Named Pluto. Play up. Play them, you cowards. The whistle. <laughs> That was so loud. I think I actually screamed. <laughs> <laughs> That'll wake you up. <laughs> okay, the warning is actually needed. Yeah. I was like, they don't need that warning. No, they actually They do. did need it. <laughs> I could like feel it. <laughs> Me too. Oh, they're waving. Oh, there they are. They're waving. And you can see that we're moving ever so slightly. We're leaving them behind. They have their Mickey gloves. If only we had ours. <laughs> oh, did you see them back? Oh, wow. Where do they live? Castaway actually has um, a few uh, cast members that live on the island. Not as many as Royal. Really? Royal has a lot, but on Coco Key, but on Castaway, there's just a handful of people from what I I don't even see where their housing would be, but it must be like back there. Yeah, there's just a few that live here, but then most of the people that work here, I think they, they like, come in from like other islands. I saw or... some boats come in this morning. Yeah, you can kind of see like way back there, there's an island pretty close by. I was wondering what that is. I want to walk on that thing. I know, they should make that an attraction. And then they should make it so that you like, you jump in the water. After. Yeah, at the very end you jump, yeah. And it's like a plank, it's like a diving board. Yeah. That's your walk the plank attraction. 
And they'll have a Jack Sparrow character like follow you with a sword. Ooh, yeah. And then wouldn't it be fun if there was like a fake pirate ship like playground that you swim out to after you walk the plank? And there's like a fake town that you can burn down and they'll rebuild yeah. it overnight. Yeah. Oh, we should, Disney should put us in charge. Yeah. Okay, we've been out here for about five hours. It's been lovely. <laughs> I think it's time for us to actually get up and get ready for dinner. Yeah. But um, something we were just talking about is these shaded areas over here, like this one and this one over here. These are really nice to have on the top deck here. And I don't think we've ever seen I, anything like, like that. On the Wish, like on the Disney Wish, I don't think they have these shaded structures on the top deck. Not on any royal ship that we've been on. Another thing we were noticing is how like, the adult, like look how big the adult section is compared to on the Wish, and this ship is like half the size. There's and three more hot tubs on this ship than there are on the Disney Wish. And this ship is half the size as the Wish. And the pool area is double the size. We've been yeah. debating back and forth which one we like better. And there's pros and cons to each, but yeah. you know, it's hard to say. Like the pool deck is for sure better on the Magic than it is on the Wish. I agree. This is a really nice adult section. The pool deck and adult section are way better than on the Wish. But then on the Wish you have better food. So, and I think the venues, interior venues on the Wish are much more beautiful and yeah. well done. It's really hard. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. But you know what? They're both great and you don't have to choose because comparison yeah. is the thief of joy. That's true. Yeah. So... Go on both. Yeah, go on both. That's double the cruising. Works for me. Yep. Okay, let's get ready for dinner. Okay, we got ready for dinner, and tonight we're eating at Rapunzel's table. So I wore my purple dress. <laughs> and um, obviously, Tangled, the movie, you know, is not 25 years old, so this is a new thing, along with the Soul Lounge. I didn't really put that like, together. <laughs> like, when I sailed on the Magic years ago, Rapunzel's royal table was not here. What was here? Do you remember? It might have been called Parrot Key. I'm not really sure. We'll have to look it up. Or Karaoke's maybe. Carrie? <laughs> it's nice that they, um, you know, they keep the ship fresh. Look at this version of Rapunzel. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Obviously, this does not look like the 3D animated. I like that. Gives a little backstory. There's some thugs that are wanted. You know, in the movie, they could never get his nose right. I know, but in the show last night, In the night, show, his nose was fine. perfect. And right here, his nose is perfect as well. That's, that's not accurate. <laughs> oh, look at the lanterns in here. This place is cool. This is actually cool. This is a huge improvement from before. This is amazing. And we're like 10 years late to seeing this change. We're acting like it's brand new. Well, it is to me. It is to us. Look at, oh, the snuggly dunkling, duckling cake with a little duck on top. Oh, this is where the duck tradition came from. Yeah, this is how the duck thing started. It's gorgeous in here. Oh, and there's like a stage up front with people playing. Oh my gosh. This is actually really cool in here. So I don't know why, but they sat us on the same side of the table. I always tell Brian that I don't like this because it feels awkward, but I think it's for the show. But I guess it works because the show's over there. Yeah. So we got some pretzel bread because obviously Rapunzel loves pretzels. Of course. And something really funny is they have this Crisp Isle of Corona shrimp. So obviously I will be getting that because I think it's funny that they call it Corona. Well, that's but, the name of the town that Rapunzel's from. Yeah. There are ruffians and thugs in here. Yeah, it's very loud. It's very crazy in here. But Corona means crown. Oh, it's so loud. It's so, it is very loud. But anyway, I will be getting the Corona for dinner. Well, I'll be getting the snuggly duckling platter. Corona also means the rays of the sun. Really? And so that's probably why, like on the lanterns, that's the town's logo is Whoa. that sun because it's called Corona. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And her hair glowed like the sun. Yeah. It all just makes sense. They're singing the cup song from Pitch Perfect, and it makes me want to grab a cup and go. 
I can't believe they're playing that. I know. Is it an actual song? I only know it from Pitch Perfect. No, it's from Pitch Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Rapunzel just came out and started singing about dreams or something. I don't know. And what's confusing is I just saw that show yesterday. And at the end, her hair got cut and it turned brown. Yeah. But this Rapunzel had blonde hair How and it was that? long. How is that possible? I'm very confused. So is it time travel? Or did she regrow her magical hair? Seems like time travel. I don't know. Did we I'm, time travel or did she? I'm upset by it though. Yeah, me too. We're gonna do our dinner time question now. This question is from Kay, and they say, if you could bring one aspect of Disney parks to DCL, what would it be and vice versa? This is a great question. Yeah. I think, obviously, the rides from Disney. I wanna bring the rides onto the Disney Cruise Line. And obviously that seems a little impractical, but Carnival has a roller coaster at sea. And That's I think, true. Didn't, was it MSC that brought like a robotic MSC thing? basically has, at Epcot, they used to have a ride called Some of All Thrills, which was a Kuka arm sort of thing. And now MSC has that. And so. I want that on board. How come a Disney ship has not put a ride on board yet? Aqua, Aqua Mouse does not count. No, that doesn't count. And then vice versa, I'm thinking the relaxation element of a Disney cruise is missing at Disney World a little bit because it's obviously, it's usually like go, go, go when you're at Disney yeah. World. If you stay in your resort, it can be relaxing, but... Or maybe they need more relaxation areas in the park. I love that. Like whether yes. it's like areas that are in AC and like maybe just have movies on loop in there. Ooh. You can charge your phone and like cool down and watch a movie and they have pop and they sell popcorn and stuff they would make money i also would say the ride and there's no reason they can't do star tours on this ship yeah and just have like the star tours ride vehicle would fit on this ship and it's not that big it wouldn't take up that much space and you could do a lot of things it doesn't just have to be star Wars. yeah no it could be anything but just using that same motion simulator yeah the thing that i want from the parks on the ships are the snacks there should be Mickey pretzels and churros yeah. and corn dogs and popcorn on the pool deck. Yeah. Because they like you can't get a Mickey pretzel on the cruise. You can get pretzel at the dining room, but this isn't shaped like Mickey. I guess I have to take this now. <laughs> but I think like those foods are cheap, so. I think it benefits Disney to do that because people will fill up on those cheap foods yeah. like the Mickey pretzels and the popcorn and other snacks. They and won't then, eat as much steak at dinner. Exactly. That's more expensive. It's like it's a win-win. It's like at a buffet when they put like rolls first. Like that's so cheap. Like you don't want to fill up on rolls at a buffet. So there is popcorn on board on DCL and on Royal. And even. it's right by the, by the, the theater. theater. You can buy popcorn while you watch the show. But what's crazy is you have to pay for it. And popcorn is like one of the cheapest things in the world to make. And it's like, normally we have no problem with paying for the upcharge things on a cruise. We're doing specialty dining all the time. Yeah, like I've we literally, have, I have no problem with doing it. Yeah. But we were just saying how for some reason with the popcorn, we're almost like insulted. Like, I like, don't want to prove Disney right by purchasing the popcorn and they're like, haha, see, I can get her to pay for popcorn. It's like, no, give me the popcorn for free. I am rebelling against this. First, you could go up to like the pool deck and get like hamburgers and french fries and chicken fingers. That's way more expensive than like popcorn. Yeah. But like the other stuff we're paying extra for is like stuff that is more expensive, like specialty ice cream and- Right. Um, stuff like, that I feel is worth like, yeah, the extra cost. Like higher quality food and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, it's It weird. is insulting. <laughs> but this all being said, I will probably pay for popcorn in the future. Maybe tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night. It's not gonna stop me, but I don't know. We just thought it was funny. We are like popcorn lovers too. Like yeah. we, Brian has his own popcorn machine. This is my uh, fried shrimp. It looks like it has like a little french fry on there. It too. does. Okay, what'd you get? I got this Snuggly Duckling platter, which is like a charcuterie board. I thought it would come with bread, 
But is this the bread? Like, I don't know. That's the bread. I don't usually get charcuterie, so I'm a little like, what do I do with this? This is actually really good. That's good. Yeah. Yummy ham. So my fried shrimp, aka Corona, this is actually probably the best appetizer I've had on like a main dining room meal on Disney Cruise Line. Wow. Not including Paolo, obviously. Right. But for the main dining rooms, it's really good. Look who's right next to us. So for my main course, I got the tangled pasta, which is angel hair pasta, which is kind of funny because tangled, uh, with a basil pesto and scallops. And it was actually really, really good. I was surprised how good it was. I tried the pasta and it was very good. Yeah, what did you get? I got like the Oktoberfest lemon thyme chicken and it's very good as well. There's like a, I want to say it's a red wine jus for the chicken and that's delicious. And the chicken is very, it's not dry, it's very moist. And then it comes with like vegetables, which I'm not really touching. But there's potatoes, which I am touching, and those are good. I think this is the best rotational dining we've had so far on DCL. Like, I think, like, obviously not including Paulo, but... I kind of agree with that. This is the best food we've had, and the atmosphere is beautiful. And obviously we haven't been on every ship yet, but... So far from what we've seen, I think this is the best restaurant. And I just met Rapunzel, and I told her happy birthday. Yeah, tonight's her birthday. And then, um... So that's why her hair hasn't been cut yet. Yeah, and I told her, like, she looks beautiful, and she said, us too. She said, did you dress special, special for the occasion? And I told her that I wore purple, and she was like, oh my gosh, my favorite color. And I just felt, you know, really special. Okay, we got our dessert. Mine is a weapon to <laughs> beat Brian over the head with. Exactly. Look at that. Is it heavy? No, not at all. Oh, I need to feel that. It looks like it would be heavy. Oh, it's not heavy at all. Oh. This is like the sweet bread. Fried the fried bread, bread yeah. yeah. And I got Gothel's Chocolate Tower. What is it called? This is like Black Forest Chocolate Tower. But obviously named after Rapunzel's. And then that's not all. And then we got this creme brulee cheesecake. That looks so good. Creme brulee on top. Yeah, creme brulee on top and then cheesecake. That's pretty cool. I really enjoy the way that that looks and yeah. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Dessert was amazing. Oh my gosh. I think the creme brulee cheesecake was the winner by like just a yeah. fraction of an inch. Everything was good though. It was so good. That's a great restaurant. Have we talked about how close our room is from the elevators? Have we talked about that? How close it is to the elevators? We love that. All right, let's see if we have a Gus. I want to shout out our friends at Ordinary Adventures that also okay. just recently went on the Disney Magic. Shout out. Shout out. Oh my God. Why, why, why? <gasps> There's a green paper too. Wow. Coins. Okay, so this is cool. This is not cool. Yeah, we don't need to look at that. <sighs> Obviously, because that means the cruise is almost over. The cruise over. is coming to an end, and we don't like seeing paperwork. Well, let's, that let's not even think about that. Describes that. This is like a pirate man. <laughs> it. Uh, what is the Captain Barbados? Bermuda, Captain Barthol. What is his actual name? Though? I don't know. Okay, how, but also how messed up is it that they give, it's our second night and like we're getting that. It's, like that's so today sad. Today the cruise started and <laughs> the cruise ended. <laughs> oh, I just got a notification from the Disney Cruise Line app. Pirates in the Caribbean deck party begins at 10 p.m. on deck nine, stage on deck nine. That's too repetitive, Disney. <laughs> Midship. But I think the, the fireworks are at 10.15. Yeah. And we're going to watch from our balcony. Because we enjoyed that the last time. Yeah, we did it last time and it was really cool. Sorry, some birds just ate a guy's eye. <laughs> okay, um, so we put on Pirates of the Caribbean 2 because last time we put on the first movie. So now we have the second one. Of course. And then we're going to wait for the fireworks to start. It should be in probably like 15 minutes, then we're gonna just go outside there. Meanwhile, I'll be here. What's nice about watching the fireworks from your balcony, you can go right to sleep. I know. Afterwards. Yeah. You just put in your PJs and you go right to sleep. 
Whoa. <laughs> it was such a surprise. Because we didn't know when it was going to happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that was cool. That was really cool. You're not the only ones on our balcony. <laughs> you can hear everyone clapping like on their balcony. That was a lot of fun. And whatever ship that is over there, they got a free show. Yeah. Tomorrow, we will be in Nassau, and we will not be getting off the ship. And we're just going to have fun on board the Disney Magic. It and should be a magical day. Yeah, and we'll see you there. In our next video, hidden Mickeys, not-so-hidden Mickeys, and amazing food. 